Hello, this is Single Apple here. If you've looked at my YouTube channels, you'll find that I tend to Google and research on the internet any animation software or music software that is free. I then look at it and have a play with it, and then when I've got some idea how to use it, I then show you what it is so that you might find it of use. So I found this little known animation software called Take One. I'm presuming it's little known because Norton doesn't seem to know anything about it. Um, so if you Google search take one.de, you should get this website here. So I'm just going to click on it. And basically it's a graphics and animation program and it's free. So you go to the download section and you can download the zip file patch that you want to run over that and even some demos. I've already done that so I've downloaded the information um, if we just take a look at one of the sort of things you may be able to do I'll just click on this one it's asking me to press here and press here great creates a quite a sweet little animation the patch creates an exe file, which if I double click, this is the screen I get. So I'm just going to go to File, and I'm going to go to New. Now I've only been using it about an hour, but it's fairly intuitive. It doesn't, doesn't take long to get, get to know what to do. So let's quickly draw something just to see what happens. So. Um, what I do is I go to sequence and I go to add copy and you'll see that it creates the next frame. So this time we'll create that. We'll go to sequence, we'll go to add copy, go back to red. So I'm just creating some sort of animation here, just very quickly. Add copy. Not much of an animator, but never mind. Copy, solid blue. Black, maybe we, maybe we can give him a hat. And presumably we, you can spray, so you might want to spray some colours in there. Now, you've also got things like modify, got effects. If you want to sharpen, sharpen the image, sharpens it up. So, if I wanted to step through it, I can see that's the animation I want to create. Now, I want to run the animation, and I have found that this software is a little bit quirky. I can't run anything at the moment, it's greyed out, grayed out. But if I go to animation, and I go to animation window, and I uncheck that new system timer, timer uh, looks like you can also create a background image there if you want. This is now red, and I click on that. I can now see that I created a little animation there. Okay, so I want to, I'm gonna save that animation first of all. So I'll just save the animation. And I'm just gonna save it in a folder called My Saved Animations that I've set up. And I'll just call it Frames 1. I'll save that. And it also creates an animation sequence file there, so I'll save that. Now, if I wanted to actually save the sequence, you can see that I can't save a GIF file or an AVI file there. So the way around that is if I go to take one, I go to my saved animations, 
I'm just going to rename that as as a GIF file. Now, if I go back into it and go back to the animation, this time when I go to File and I go to Save Sequence, if I then select this drop down box, you can see that I can now save GIF files or save AVI files. So if I was to save a GIF file, so if I come out of it now, and if I go into the GIF. with the Net Explorer. There we are. I've created a little GIF file there. So it's a useful little tool and there's more to it than I've explained. So this is just awareness for you. You can actually get in there, have a play with it and see what you can create. Um, so it looks like a fun little animation tool. So hopefully you found that of use. Thank you for watching.